Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today we're going to talk about the start of a very particular era for Wolverine, the Patch era, where Chris Claremont sets up the beginning of Wolverine's ongoing series. And the weird thing is that the beginning of the series actually starts in Marvel Comics Presents. Now, for those who don't know, Marvel Comics Presents was a very interesting anthology series. Each issue would have four stories. And on one side, you get to see a lot of really obscure characters get a spotlight put on them and on the other side some of the stories would be really choppy because they would be cut up in many issues <laughs> so the story starts off we have wolverine arriving to madripoor he's looking for an old associate of his called mcdonald his name is not mcdonald that's my bad it's o'donald the thing is he arrives to the legendary princess bar looking for his friend and he stumbles across the situation as he normally does where he finds a group of gangsters trying to coerce the owner of this bar to pay for protection as normally mobsters would do. So obviously he defeats these gangsters pretty easily. He liberates the bar and he wins the ire of the local crime lord. His name is Roach. We learn early on in the story that Roach is in a conflict with a new upstart crime lord who's called Tiger. He's going to try to take Wolverine down. And the interesting thing about Razor Fist is that they seem to have history together. They know each other, but he doesn't tell Roach about this. So as the story progresses, Wolverine comes across Jason Huan. Many will ask, who the hell is this character? And it's really cool that Chris Claremont brings this particular character back because she was the person saved by the X-Men from the Reavers. When they were pulling off a bank heist, they kidnapped her. And this sort of started the Australian era for the X-Men. So obviously the X-Men were able to rescue her. They send her back to her normal life. But they had no idea that one of the Reavers, Pretty Boy, had messed with her mind. And now thanks to that, her moral compass is sort of off. And she sort of has an evil streak to her. And she explains to Wolverine that when she went back to her normal life, her family were the owners of this bank. This bank goes under. And she discovers that Roach was the one to contract the Reavers in the first place for the hit. So the pretty cool reveal to this story is that we discover that Jason is actually Tiger, or she actually calls herself Tiger Tiger. She's the upstart. She's the one trying to take down Roach in the first place. So Tiger's and Wolverine's interests align. They have this open war against Roach. Obviously, Wolverine's going to have a couple battles against Razor Fist. The first one, he almost gets killed because back then his healing factor isn't as good as it is now. The second battle is where Wolverine comes out on top. And at the end of the story, Wolverine and Tiger are able to depose Roach. And Tiger Tiger becomes the new crime lord to Magipur. And she promises to Wolverine that she's not going to be straight up evil like Roach. And she's going to keep things calm in the area and not be as illegal. <laughs> so Wolverine decides to stay in Magipur. And he's going to keep a close eye on Tiger Tiger just in case if she ever goes off the rails, he's going to take her down. But they still have this budding relationship between both of them so as i said earlier this starts the patch era of wolverine where he doesn't use his normal costume because him and the rest of the x-men were considered dead after their battle against the adversary so wolverine in his civilian mode he's going to rock an eye patch for some reason and he's going to hang out in bars and in brothels super kid friendly and in superhero mode he's going to rock a black costume with a red belt and the really weird thing is the mask that he uses it looks like a lady stocking over his eyes. 